I adjusted the heat shawl against my neck, tucking my collar over it to keep out the chill breeze. Heat seekers sure knew what they were doing when it came to warming devices. A regular scarf had nothing on this. It was almost enough to let me forget the snowy temperatures on this alien planet. Not that I could fully forget, with the snow drifting down into the streets anywhere there wasn't a storefront with a heat field umbrella. The city goers were from a range of species, and anyone who didn't have heavy fur was bundled up against the cold in some way. Even Z, who objected to coats on the grounds that they covered up his glorious purple exoskeleton, was sporting a range of scarves and bracelets that radiated heat. It seemed like an inefficient way to keep warm to me, but that was his business. Speaking of business, there were hours left before our ship was due to leave, and everyone was taking the chance to see the sights. Z and I had volunteered to scout out the tourism hub. Several others would be joining us shortly. Is that the sports arena? I asked, when a wired building loomed ahead. Yes. Z pointed out a sign with his pincher arm. I missed it because of all the burly, yeti-like locals milling around in front of it. One building, many sports, all open to anyone. I was more than a little curious to see what sort of sports were played here. Let's take a look. Paint and egg skin will probably come here first anyway. It's bound to be warmer in there. A valid point, Z agreed, stepping quickly. His clicky bug feet had the most adorable little booties on, for all the world like something a toddler would wear to keep from slipping on the kitchen floor. The sparkly thread woven through the rim probably meant they were higher fashion where mesmers were concerned. I hoped they were waterproof. I tromped through the slush in my normal human boots, and soon enough we entered the arena doorway to a much more comfortable temperature. I found the control tab for the heat shawl and turned it off, though I left it draped under my shirt. Z deactivated several bracelets. A respectable range of sports, he observed. I scanned the signs. I don't recognise the names of any of these. The viewing areas are this way, Z said, padding off down the main hallway. Perhaps you will recognise one if you see it in action. Surprisingly enough, I did. Is that hockey? I asked a moment later, staring through the big window at the ice rink where two mixed teams of local yetis and off-world smashers careened around in chase of something small. The four-body thumps vibrated through the floor. They're calling it Puck Chase, Z said, reading a sign. That's amazing. We have this exact sport where I'm from. I look for differences. The puck looked bigger and heavier, and the sticks were a different shape. Judging by the amount of violence going on, the rules were probably different too. But it was very much the same on the surface, with goalies in front of nets and everything. I suppose it's an obvious sort of game to think up when there's a lot of ice around, but still, I know a few people who would have loved to see this. Z sniffed. It's a bit pedestrian. I suppose... I said with a smile. Not your style? I've never been one for the more feminine sports, Z said with a flick of his antenna. Feminine? I asked. He pointed with a pincher arm, keeping it carefully folded. All this protect the nest, steal the enemy's egg nonsense? I blinked. I guess there's one way to think of it. Judging by that sign, though, there's promises to be something more masculine down this way, Z said. He headed off down the hallway. I hurried to follow. The sign in question had another name I didn't recognise, though I could guess. I dodged around a trio of yetis, which smelled like cinnamon and herbal tea, with none of the wet dog scent I'd been subconsciously expecting. I reminded myself not to make unflattering assumptions, and caught up with Z, just as he turned the corner. There we are, he said in satisfaction. Now that's a sport. Even Trilly would have to appreciate this one. Figure skating. Aliens of a variety of body types and clothing styles glided around on the ice, leaping and spinning and generally being as flashy as they could. Somebody with wings was even doing the high-speed series of flips 
there were almost certainly a mating dance. Every skater moved past the others with elegance and grace, a far cry from the violence in the other room. I'll be here for a while, said Z's voice, already farther away. I turned to see him gliding towards the entrance to the arena, reactivating his heat bracelets and pulling a currency card from a belt pouch. A vending machine just inside the door looked like it sold force-filled ice skates to fit any foot. Alright, I'll keep an eye out for the others, I called after him, though I doubt he was listening. He disappeared through the door in a gust of cold air. I looked around at the passers-by, some of whom were watching the action with recording devices. I quickly got out my phone. I had a suspicion that seeing a praying mantis-shaped alien strut his stuff in the manly art of ice dancing was about to be very memorable. I was right. <laughs>